All right, so now that you understand why it's so important to bleed the inlet side, um, continuing along with things that can cause no pressure. Um, if you suspect that you're continually getting an air in the inlet side problem, one of the other things that you can do is, I'll show you here at our own little test bench, excuse the mess. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to, I just turned off the, the water and I'm just going to I bleed, you know, pressure that off. Now I'm going to take our inlet out and what one thing you can do is you can go ahead and put this in a bucket, okay? And you can turn your, your hose on and you should just be getting a nice flow of water. Now if you're continually getting air bubbles in there, then you know you have an issue with air somewhere on the inlet side of, of your thing. Another thing that's good about the bucket trick is if you suspect that uh, in when doing two GPM systems um, or multiple systems that you want to check your or you want to check your flow rate with a bucket. Um, so one thing you can do is sit here with your watch and you can turn it on and time yourself and see what the flow rate is after 60 seconds. Um, so what that'll tell you is that tells you what your supply side GPM is now. Um, we've talked about pressure, but not necessarily flow. So the flow um, going into your pump, if you need a 2 GPM pump, your flow needs to be equal to or greater than what you're actually, um, what, what it's getting. So if my flow rate there, if after 60 seconds, um, if after 60 seconds my flow rate, I only get one gallon in this bucket, I know that, you know, I need more flow, um, which is going to, you know, be up to the customer pretty much. So. Um, okay, um, so that pretty much concludes everything that can cause a loss in pressure uh, other than the, what, the stuff that's in the manual um, and, you know, outlining some things even repeat. Um, as I mentioned before, um, water seals are only going to need to be replaced if this particular part of the pump is dripping water or, um, actually, that, that's the only reason you need to change the water seals. Um, the the relief valve um, is this you could sometimes also check if you had a loss in pressure. It's the last thing is that you could go ahead and take a um, take a wrench. You could go ahead and take a wrench and undo this whole assembly and pull that out and inspect it and make sure it still looks good. Um, but that that's that's pretty much the last thing. So. Um, if you take that out, you gotta put a new one in. Why? Because it pulls the rubber, and the bottom is only made to go in. Once you pull it out, it damages it. I have to cut. <laughs> um.